<sighs> there you go. Ya Yako Mighty said, I went to my local tournament. All players were Luke's and Ken's on leverless controllers. It was crazy. I was the only JP. Yeah, because they're all brainless idiots. Wow. They are fucking idiots. What the fuck? <laughs> they all just copy the same shit. You know, they, they have no intelligent thought or knowledge of the game. They just fucking do the same pattern shit as everybody else and try to squeeze out wins. So here we go. Here's what I need to do. This is the same troll from last week. So now the match is registered, correct? Because no, now the match is going on, so it actually is registered. So this should register. Now if I quit, if I quit out of the match, now I should be able to block this person, correct? But I had to basically have the match start before I could do that. But that's fine, because I'm trying to block all idiotic trolls. You know, so that I don't have to waste time on these idiots anymore moving forward. Because as you know, I'm going to play more of this. I'm going to use new characters and stuff. I'm going to be doing more casual play even when I get back to rank. So best to just ban the IP ban these idiots now. Street Especially when there's nothing at stake, right? So let me do that. Hopefully that shows up as a uh, an actual person now that I can, you know, block them. It worked last time, but I had to be in the match. That's the thing. I actually had to be in the match for it to count. Before I quit out of a match the other night. Uh, before the match started, and then they didn't show up in my my list. They should show up now. Go to profile, history. No, they still don't show up. <laughs> you actually have to play an entire match. How stupid is that? I want you to think about that. They force you to play an entire match with this loser before you can actually block them. And I've already beat, spanked that guy. That's the same troll who I already beat him a million times, and he comes back. So I guess I have to play him again and beat him again, and then I can ban him. What a fucking loser. In reality, the only people who say stupid shit like that are jealous idiots. You know? Right now, I've had incredible, overwhelming positivity and success in the last month and month and a half of my life. And people are so butthurt about it. They are so angry and butthurt. People who don't like me right now are probably typing away at the computers. I can't believe it. He reached into the desk girl. How can he do that? Listen to how he answers this question. My butt hurts so bad. And they do it every single fucking day because they're losers. And they come on the streams and they try to derail, you know, and tough shit. Again, these are the same people. I've been playing them forever. I just didn't realize that you could change your name on here. Until recently, I played the same cami like four matches in a row, and each one was a different name, and I was like, oh, that's the same person? So then I blocked them once, and it literally blocked every version of their account. I was like, oh, okay. So at least it gets it right. At least it kind of IP blocks the way it should. Um, but I need to, to, I guess, play a whole match against them first, which is really stupid. Again, fighting game people not thinking, right? They're just not it being being with their matchmaking and everything. It's just really stupid. Uh, Yako Mighty, I don't complain about leverless controllers because I I don't experience them. I've never used one. Uh, I'm sure that perhaps there's some kind of an advantage if so many people are adopting them. Much like how everyone playing this game competitively has all played it on PC now. No one plays it on console anymore. Obviously, there's some kind of an unfair advantage, but I don't play the game in tournaments, so I don't, you know, what am I going to say? I don't, I don't really see it or care. Nobody fucking cares. Stop that shit. Yeah, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Look at this. Is there is there matchmaking down tonight? Can anyone confirm if this is working? How is it that I just got a few matches? Now I can't get a single match. The only thing I can think of is to try to expand. But look, I'm already search range expanded. I mean, if I go to three to five, perhaps. I'm even on crossplay. <laughs> I'm even on crossplay. Like, I don't know what else I could possibly do here. What's hilarious, someone says, oh, if you disconnect all the time, they only put you with people with high disconnect rate. I've literally disconnected like three times in the thousands of matches that I've played in the game. So it should be an infinitesimally small percent of disconnect. So that doesn't make any sense at all what you're saying. <laughs> I think the matchmaking is fucked up. There we go, finally. So now, yeah, now I got this yellow connection. We might as well, it's the only match available. We're gonna play a yellow connection DJ. I like how it's a yellow card. They show you a yellow card. So, okay, it's a troll. It's a troll. We can block this person now. Thank God. We can now play this match in a laggy connection, and then I can block the troll. Get ready, Moon! 
can't do anything. Again, if you don't have a truer wig of reversal, they could do throw mix ups to top tier characters, you'll get thrown every time. Can't do anything. Mash jab. So now I can ban this person. So now I quit, and now I can actually ban this person. Okay. Good. And no, he's not good. He's fucking doing drive rush throws. I can't. What do you want me to do with 80 millisecond connection? I literally will never break a throw. He'll just get throws endlessly. So, okay. Uh, here we go. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with this loser. Good. Now, I'm, I wonder if that's the same guy. Probably not. Probably have one or two others like that tonight. And we'll block them and then we can play real people. That's hilarious. Someone says that yellow card does mean that you're in low priority for the queue. So literally within the thousands upon thousands of matches that I have played in this game, I've disconnected three times all to trolls who are either playing completely unprofessionally like teabagging or having names that were insulting to me and my family. And so I black out of those matches and now I'm in the bad priority queue, even though I've done it three times in 10 months the game's been out and the thousands upon thousands of matches I've played. Wow, Capcom knows what they're doing, huh? Capcom really knows what the fuck they're doing, right? <laughs> That's it's pretty impressively bad and stupid. I think Capcom should get fucked. What a bunch of morons. You have to debate, is this the better version? Is that the better version? We're actually going to put effort into it and make a great version for all of you. Instead, Capcom did what they always do, and they said, fuck everyone. You were lazy motherfuckers. Poured it out to a third-rate fucking company that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. And now here we are, and there's still no definitive edition of these classics. There just isn't. Hey, Capcom, why don't you actually watch a fucking stream to see the kind of shit that the idiotic trolls do on streams of your game before you do a blanket practice that's a fucking stupid and punishes the wrong people? Yeah, well, I'm not going to disconnect because I can't. Now that I know, there's no point to disconnecting because I, if I disconnect, I can't ban the person anyway, right? So I got to at least play one match against the person and then we can disconnect or excuse me, then we can just quit out and then we can block the person. So there's like no point to disconnecting at all. Yeah, I love game devs I'm completely out of touch with reality. Oops. We would actually watch a, like, a stream that's not like fucking one of the top player streams to try to figure out how the game actually works. Oh, shit. Uh, it takes, takes some work. <laughs> takes some effort. Well, I don't know how long we're going to have to wait to get a match, guys. People are saying if I do like two more matches, you'll be out of that queue. But what am I going to do? I, the same thing's going to happen if I go to rank two then, right? It sucks because with rank, you know, again, I know I'm just going to get bodied. I need practice. I'm out of practice with this character. He's a low tier character, so I need to get back into the swing of things to do anything. I'm not going to throw away my rank points. Ranked and casual, different queues. So then there's no point because it's not even going to help. It's not even going to help this queue. So. Yeah, I know the blinking screen is very annoying. I don't know why they did that. Why does the screen blink like this when it's matchmaking? It's really stupid. Fucking stupid. There's nothing I can do. I literally have to sit here. We might have three matches all night, and there's nothing I can do because I can't fix it. Just Capcom are a bunch of fucking idiots. That's great. Uh, great. Well, this is a fun night. What do you guys want to talk about? Sorry, I'd love to play the game, but, you know, I didn't make it. What would you guys like to talk about tonight? <laughs> Since it looks like we'll be waiting an hour to get a match. <clears throat> oh, really? Overwatch... Cues are now 40 minutes. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, there's no point to doing that. The whole point here is for me to get practice and not have people have, be, have an abusable environment where they're just going to come in and say disgusting stuff, you know? I'm not going to make do that. Obviously, they're already out in force. I'm not going to make a fucking lobby and give them a, an outing to do that. I'm not dumb. Uh, well, I don't know how to fix this stuff. Because if I never play the matches, then casual play will always be fucked up. What if you change characters? What if you completely change your character? What if I go to, like, Blanca? Blanca. Right? Because that's a... Well, I mean, it's a different ranking entirely, right? Like, let's try this. Does this fix anything? Nope. The thing that's really dumb about that, too, what if you just have a bad internet day? Oh, my internet's kind of screwed up, right? <laughs> oh, well, guess what? You can't play the game because your internet was screwed up on a bad day, right? That's stupidity. It's tied to the ID, not to the character, so this doesn't even matter. All right, there you go. Wow, this is completely stupid. Hey, Capcom, I'm trying to avoid people with abusive names, abusing your name system, saying awful things about myself, my family members. That's why I'm quitting out. 
not because I'm a sore spar, but I guess you're too dumb to understand that people shouldn't have to be bullied and abused in your game because you have poor protections against it, right? I'll do worldwide connection three to five. <laughs> worldwide. Poops, please shut up. Please stop being obnoxious in the chat. Thank you. Well, I don't know what you guys want to talk about. I can't fix this unless what they should do. They should have like a 30 minute time limit on it or it should be based off of all of your wins and losses together and matches, not based off of, oh, your recent performance. Because what if there's a day when your internet's fucked up and you're trying to play and your internet keeps going out? You're like, I didn't know my internet was messed up today. You get punished for that? No, it should be based on overall. If you've played thousands upon thousands of matches and you've disconnected from three, it should not punish you like this. This is completely stupidity. It's dunce level game development and whoever made this decision should be fired. It's stupid. What the fuck? What the fuck was the game dev thinking? What a complete shithead. What a fucking asshole. It doesn't make any fucking sense. There's a difference if someone habitually is quitting out of matches versus someone quit out of three matches out of 7,000. It's moronic. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. <clears throat> but pardon me that I didn't want to play the game and be bullied as I played it, right? Like I actually wanted to enjoy your fighting game and not be bullied by people because you have an open name system, right? Excuse me for not putting myself into an abused environment while playing your video game online. I wasn't aware that was my fault, right? That I made the game like that. Oops. <clears throat> Boom, 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 boom. What's funny is someone just said, why play Street Fighter when you get beat up in Twitter comments, which makes no sense, but it's like, you realize I don't see any Twitter comments, right? My Twitter is is in a situation where I only can see comments from people who like are approved users and no one can respond to me either. Like if they do, I still don't see it. I don't see any of it. I don't have to ever read anyone's dumb comment ever. I don't ever see that. There's entire giant viral negative things about me. i would never seen one of them. I don't bother with it because I'm not a moron. I don't waste time on Twitter, a bunch of idiots being to toxically stupid to myself and others. I just ignore all that shit. So I never get to see it ever. I never see it. So any moron who ever tweets that, I've never seen it once. I only basically, um, I only basically uh, use Twitter for work. Like that's it, that's its use now. I don't really do much up there besides just work stuff. Um, earlier today, I fully and formally addressed on my pre-stream, um, you know, the whole situation that happened with me on Twitter last night and yesterday, it's still unfolding. We've still got people going crazy tweeting about it. Uh, as of right now, my one main tweet that's been super popular has over 15,000 likes and 4,000 retweets, while the other tweet that I made has about 5,000 likes and like thousands of retweets. Uh, big big content creators are coming out and saying, wow, this is, you know, this is a cool situation with, for Phil. And Is this Phil's redemption arc? This is just pretty hilarious because the way I say it is, uh, there's nothing to redeem. Like, to, the people who think there needs to be a redemption arc basically have never watched me or don't know the truth about me because I know, you know, the things that people say about me and shit were never true to begin with. Well, I guess that's it. I can't play. What am I, now how do I fix this? If I can literally never find a custom match, how am I supposed to fix this problem? Are you telling me my custom matches are permanently disabled in this game? What if a new a new character comes out? How am I supposed to practice with them? I'm not allowed to because I quit from three matches in the last week. Are you out of your mind? It's on a timer, what's the timer? How long is the timer? Because what's the point in sitting here when we're not gonna get a match? We'll go do something else, right? And then we'll come back. What is the timer? There is no set timer, says Green Mega. Why do you guys give me always contradictory information? How do you guys not understand? So literally, I can never play. I will never be able to play a casual match of Street Fighter VI ever again because this will not find a match. Does that make any sense? Jack Scratch says, I heard playing against people in Battle Hub may help remove it. It's not going to help me. The moment I go to Battle Hub, you know the trolls are going to find that Battle Hub and flood it with toxic, disgusting stuff that I can't show on my stream. So I can't ever use Battle Hub. We already know that from the beta, that the Battle Hub is useless. It goes away after a few days of games. No one has a figure. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Well, fuck it. I guess we'll do rank, and then I'm just gonna... My, my Honda rank's gonna be destroyed. There's nothing I can do. I'm not good with Honda right now. I'm very rusty. You know what I mean? Like, I know I'm gonna lose non-stop a Honda. 
But I'm not gonna sit here and not play the fucking game all night because Capcom doesn't know how to fucking make a game because they're morons. You guys couldn't make a fucking video game if someone handed you a completed one! So, I'm gonna at least play and I guess I'm just gonna lose all my points. What else can I do, right? What else can I fucking do? I've, I've played one match with Honda and it wasn't a good one. And I don't know what I'm doing and I'm gonna be rusty as shit and I'm just gonna lose all my points. Great. Great, Capcom. Think about that. Blacklist, as soon as you blacklisted. Blacklisted for quitting three games in a week of people who were being abusive to me. That's great. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a refund for the game then. <laughs> if I can't play it any further. <clears throat> oh, that is true. You can queue for both, right? You're right. I can do both. Well, and this is going to be a Q&A stream, guys. It sure seems that way, does it not? We'll do all. Here we go. Every every type, worldwide, all connections, cross-play. <laughs> now you can't possibly cast a wider net, right? That's the absolute widest net possible, right? Oh, 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 what was that? There was almost a match. There was almost a match. Oh, no, see, it's glitching. See? It's glitching. I, I could play. You're right. I could play on Xbox. We could actually play on Xbox. So I have the Xbox version, and that's not tied to this PSN ID. That is true. All right. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, Honda hand jobs. <laughs> the guy's name is Honda hand jobs? Oh, my Lord. What the fuck? Why are they trolling me now, man? Stop this bullshit, Capcom. Why did they do this?